Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at BGP, our Border Gateway Protocol. Specifically within BGP, we're going to be taking a look at a feature known as the BGP Peer Groups, and we're also going to explain how we configure peer groups, how we verify the configuration, and what we use peer grouping for. In this situation here, we're going to have four routers, router 1, router 2, router 3, and router 4. And this is going to be a configuration of these four routers. They're all going to be peered to each other. So we're going to have a full mesh here and what I'm going to do is show you how you can use BGP peer groups to simplify your configuration uh, sp specifically in this case we're going to be taking a look at how BGP peer groups um, will will drastically improve our configuration to all of our peers so what peer groups allow us to do is to minimize CPU resources within BGP because we all know once we enable BGP on our router and if you're using GNS3 it can be a CPU uh, hog and so what we can do here is we can create what's called the BGP peer group which will allow us to simplify our BGP configuration to our peers and will also allow us to reduce the CPU utilization on our routers. So let's go ahead and get started here. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and set up the topology. I'll just pause the video for a second and then I'll come back here. As you can see we're going to We'll just make it easy. We'll just put all these routers in the uh, 172.16.0.0 slash 24 network. Uh, give them all the IP. Router 1 is dot 1, router 2 is dot 2, router 3 is dot 3, and router 4 is going to be dot 4. And of course all these routers were going to be uh, they're all going to have loopback zero interfaces. Router 1's is 1.1.1.1 and so on. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be doing an IG, I internal BGP implementation of BGP peer groups.